Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be talking about the Jaclyn Cosmetics Prep and Set Collection. I purchased one of everything that she just came out with in the white packaging. <laughs> um, if you're interested in my thoughts and what I think about the collection, then just keep watching. Okay, I have all of my creams on. I haven't set anything with powder. Starting with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I sat down, sprayed my face with my Smashbox Glow Finish Primer Water and put this on. Um, I like it. I It feels like a really hydrating, almost lotion-y texture. Um, I didn't have a under eye primer before so it really did add to my collection and I think that it does help fill in those under eye lines and um, just not as much creasing underneath my eyes I've used it this will be the third time and I'm really liking just how my under eyes look I think it does add um, it's a good step in my routine anyways if you have an under eye primer that you already love this might not be for you but I'm really glad that I picked it up and I'm gonna continue to use it so these three powders I picked up one of each of the powders that she came out with and um, this will be I've used them twice before and I have not liked I have not loved my makeup any of the times that I use them so that says something to me anyways. Um, we're gonna use them today and I'll show you what they look like on my face. Um, but I just, I think it all, it all boils down to personal preference. For me, my personal preference right now is not usually full coverage, bright under eye, thick, straight contour, all those things that Jaclyn Hill does do on a daily um, if you just watch that video that she posted um, she's just I mean full full thick full coverage foundation um, so anyways my personal preference I'm gonna tell you my opinions and um, if you feel differently I love that for you let me know down in the comments you know what you think about these powders and just all that I need to set my under eye, I need to set my concealer. So we are gonna start off with this, um, the Brightening and Setting Palette. This is my favorite product out of the Prep and Set collection that she just came out with. I These powders are wonderful. They feel amazing, they're soft, they're buttery. Um, I really do, really do like these powders. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take my new lunar beauty sponge loving this absolutely wonderful so soft i'm gonna go ahead and dip into these top these well, these two bright shades coconut and lilac i'm gonna mix them a little bit together and then and that that is bright it's really bright i'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath my eyes So there's the one side with powder and the other side with no powder at all. Um, it does, it definitely smooths out the under eye lines. It makes it so soft and seamless looking. Um, it is very, very pretty, very finely milled powder. I'm just gonna use almond on the other side of my sponge. See, and it's just not as bright and I'll set it Use it to set the other side. Okay, so this is a brightening coconut and lilac side, and this is the almond side. Um, personally, I really prefer how almond looks. Um, it reminds me a lot of my Charlotte Tilbury powder. It's very finely milled, very soft. It doesn't emphasize any of my dryness. Um, I do have dry skin, 
So, yeah, it, I mean, and a little bit of texture and lines underneath my eyes, and it doesn't emphasize any of that, and it lasts really well. These powders I love. If you're going to pick up anything from the Prep and Set collection, I re would recommend picking up this palette. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face with the translucent setting powder. Now this is a white powder and it translates white on the face. Um, I'm just, you know, I think, I think there is a time and a place for white translucent powder. It's just not my favorite to set my face with. Um, all of it. I would rather set my face with a tinted powder so it doesn't look super bright. I'm already fair as it is, so adding that whiteness just makes me feel kind of ghostly. Um, and I don't think this is going to work for everybody because of that white that translates. Let me pick some up on my brush. I mean, you can see the white. <laughs> you can see the white on the brush. Now I don't, it does, it adds a beautiful finish um, to the foundation. It doesn't like make it matte. It doesn't um, emphasize any dry patches. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful formulation. I love the powder, but I'm... I'm not going to reach for this. This is not becoming a favorite. <laughs> um, and I will try to find ways to use it, but it's just not, uh, it's just not my go-to. It's not going to be my go-to. I think that it makes me look more light than I already am. And, um, I really like using color powders. So, there's the last act translucent powder. Personally, not my favorite. Last but not least is the brightening under eye powder. Um, I picked mine up in brightening lilac because I don't have a lilac powder. I have a bunch of translucent powders, but I don't have anything that's purple or lilac color. Um, it's, it's a light purple color. And in the past, I've used it to set my under eye, and I just don't like how it looks underneath my eyes. It's beautiful, finely milled powder. I am going to use it to um, sculpt out more my cheekbones, um, but it's just, it's not for me for under the eyes. Um, and I... Um, other than for this video, I don't think I, I don't usually bake or do this with my powder. It's just too much. It's not, I prefer a more seamless, um, not as chiseled look, I guess, to my makeup. Um, there is a time and a place where I would like to, you know, go a little bit more hardcore but um this is probably the only way i would ever use this powder Where's that brush? um and it is purple so i don't think i would even use it like that um i think if you are a little bit I think if you're a little bit deeper skin tone than me, maybe even just a medium skin tone, I think that you would really like this. It's a beautiful, like I said, I love the formulation of her powders, but I don't like the brightening purple under my eyes. It just makes me look so harsh. <laughs> um, and it's just not, it's not the vibe right now. I want... Um, I'm getting into a little bit less coverage, a little bit more my skin, but better. Um, cream, blush, cream, bronzer. And so this powder just isn't that vibe 
<laughs> um, but it is a good powder. Um, it's just not, it's not what I'm looking for right now. Um, so those are my thoughts on the Jaclyn Cosmetics Prep and Set Collection. Um, it's now my favorite stuff that she's come out with. And I do love Jaclyn Hill and I will continue to purchase her makeup and her cosmetics line and try her stuff out. Um, but this, this collection so far is not my favorite that she's released. I really love her highlighters and I love her liquid lip and her lip liners. They're wonderful. Um, but the powders, it's just not, it's not what I'm looking for right now. I think it is kind of interesting when she decided to release the powders. And I think it's even more interesting that they're not sold out on her website yet. <laughs> um, so that tells you anything. All right. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I hold that a little bit. <sighs> oh, I got powder on my shirt. How long has that been there? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs>